Today starts the budget debate in the Massachusetts Senate. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming is on Beacon Hill with what residents can expect out of this nearly $50 billion budget. The Senate budget debate kicked off today and the senators took to the chamber and their computers to debate over 1,100 amendments. With COVID cases rising in the State House, senators were told to mask up or consider working remotely during this year's budget process. The day started with 1,178 amendments for the senators to consider. With the state seeing above projected revenue, the Senate plans to boost the rainy day fund to $6.74 billion, above the House's plan of $6.55 billion. The Senate budget is also proposing $1.23 billion in local aid money. The Senate matched the House with $6 billion in Chapter 70 aid to local schools and included $648 million for the University of Massachusetts system. Senator Hines stated his local priorities include funding for regional transportation authorities, the Berkshire Flyer, and education. Of course, I'm always focused on education, and um, you know the the line item that we've established in the budget to uh, uh, to help schools in Western Mass that have low and declining enrollment. Um, we're trying to grow that line item even more this year, and so that that'll be another big priority of mine. There are also 19 separate tax changes on the table, like dropping the state's gas tax. However, Senate President Karen Spilka has said tax relief will not be handled until the conclusion of this year's budget. Amendments are often bundled to speed the process along, and the Senate is expected to finish well before Memorial Day weekend. Once the budget is approved, it will go to a conference committee to develop a final version. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.